Good afternoon, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining us. Today's webinar is LED Fundamentals. This is a repeat, actually, for MaxLight, this subject. We have done a very similar webinar for exclusive cast of invitees, but we've opened this up now to the full industry, and the attendance is quite overwhelming. And we do appreciate your time. We know your time is very valuable, and we don't mean to misuse it. Today is not for the expert in LED. Today is more for the person who really knows that LED is at the cusp. It's really breaking now. It is growing in popularity. It is even actually now growing in sales. Traditionally, we've looked at fixtures that might cost 65 to $100, and now for very similar style fixtures in the same applications, we're looking at three, $400 in some cases. So it's very important that we understand this technology. Like most technologies, there are quality-made luminaires or quality-made products with LEDs, and there are very substandard products made with LEDs. And we hope what you take from this is an understanding of a little bit about the technology and mainly the questions to ask to ensure that you're getting the long-term performance that you expect at these price levels. Today we're going to cover specifically the benefits of LEDs, which I'm sure uh, we're all on the same page on. What is an LED itself? How it works? Terms you should know, I think, is probably one of the most important things I'd ask for you to take from our time together today. Performance, measuring, and the things that are coming in the future. Lighting facts label, which is very important. We'll spend a moment on that. Uh, and a little bit about MaxLine products, how we stand against these very same recommendations. And then, of course, your time to lay out any questions you might have. And any questions that are asked today will be answered within 24 hours, if not live, as we go. So what we know, it's more or less the benefits of LEDs in luminaires. And I should say that the focus today is in general lighting luminaires, not in automotive LEDs or any of the other growing applications for this technology. The main benefits are the energy savings. That's why we are here. Certainly the efficacy of these luminaires is growing really uh, by the quarter year. It, it grows 10, 12% a year, So, and, and you can actually measure it and watch it. Certainly the maintenance savings, uh, LEDs are associated with a very long life. That is true with quality made uh, luminaires and lamps. It is certainly not true for substandard products or products that uh, leave out the fundamentals in their design, and we'll talk a little bit more about that. And the environmental advantages, certainly no heavy metals, mainly mercury, and the high efficiency contributes directly to uh, lower energy use and lower energy, less fossil fuels, and the like. Let's talk uh, very, very fundamentally about uh, what is an LED. When we think lighting, generally we think incandescent, but LEDs are, really, they are a semiconductor, and they have much more in common with your computer than it does with an incandescent bulb. A little bit about uh, the construction of an LED as it is in a luminaire or lamp. You have the basic LED itself. You have the packaging of that chip. Generally, there is a heat sink, aluminum, copper, other materials. Obviously, a, a PC board, generally a metal clad PC board, and then some other uh, external heat transfer or heat conducting device. A little bit about how an LED works. Unlike incandescent, this is actually very, very deep. Uh, and what we need to know today is that uh, LEDs made today are not what we generally associate or think of when we see an LED. The old five millimeter type LEDs that you see in the traffic roadway signals, red, green, yellow, these are not the LEDs that we're using today in general lighting. The LEDs we're using today are also known as power LEDs. Here the the life is much longer than those older 5 millimeter type LEDs. They're generally uh, without leads. Uh, these are surface mount products. And what's, what's important for us is how we make the colors. And these days, for general lighting, what we call white color LEDs is done in one of two methods, combining red, blue, and green. Uh, but today, more popular than that is using uh, blue type LEDs with phosphors, so it's a little bit of uh, old and new technologies. Phosphors taking the blue and bringing it into the white category of anywhere from generally 3,000K to 7,000K and beyond. The different materials that they use to produce these different colors vary greatly, and what you need to remember is that uh, for illumination, general illumination, and high quality general lighting applications, you want to ensure that we're using power LEDs. And certainly we'll speak more to that uh, right now. 
three main terms when you're when you're thinking uh, LEDs. The three main terms that you should understand when you are deciding what luminaires, what LED light bulbs to purchase, are before you now, and that is L70, LM79 and LM80. These three are really the fundamentals of understanding the product that you're buying. Let's talk L70 now. L70 is simply a way to understand the lifetime you should expect from that luminaire or light bulb. And L70 is basically a, a Department of Energy term and, and it is generally accepted as the time to change that luminaire or light bulb. And what it means is L70 is a 30% depreciation of initial light level or rated light level. So for simple numbers, if it's a 100 lumen device, uh, the end of life is when that device reaches 70 lumens. Now this is a very different way of measuring a lifetime of a light bulb or a, a light fixture. Here to four, we have always measured life by a failure rate, a 50% failure rate. In other words, uh, when you look at a 1,000 hour incandescent or a 10,000 hour CFL, that lifetime was determined by a 50% failure rate. Uh, at 10,000 hours, you should have approximately a 50% failure rate of your CFL and your incandescent and your halogens, metal halides, and so on. For LED, because LED doesn't actually fail when done properly, but just continues to depreciate over extremely long periods, which can make it unsafe. Certainly in exit signs and, and street lights, you can't have them fading off to where they're barely visible. So they use a standard, it's called L70. Now the other half of understanding your lifetime, we'll speak to more in a moment. LM80. LM80 is also very important. This ensures, first of all, that you're buying a quality LED from a quality LED manufacturer. This is generally not the same person who's making the luminaire. There are a few exceptions to that in the industry, but generally speaking, the LEDs are made by the LED people and the luminaires are made by the luminaire people, such as MaxLight and others. When I'm buying an LED for my luminaires, I am restricting and limiting the LED considerations for my engineering department to only those LEDs that have LM80 data available. That shows that they've done their research. I know what the life expectancy is, what the thermal information is. I know everything I need to know about that LED when I can have access to the published LM80 data. And that comes, again, from the LED people. The LM79 data. Well, we build our luminaires to meet LM79 criteria, and basically, I take that LM80 data, I buy that LED, I apply it to our design, our luminaire, I then send the completed luminaire or light bulb to, to a third-party laboratory, and LM79 more or less confirms that the design of my fixture has not negatively impacted the LED's expected and rated life. So in other words, LM79 confirms that I haven't messed with the LM80 published uh, expected results. And it, it, it is pretty deep and it's important that you understand. So folks, all of you who have registered and have attended this webinar today will be emailed a much more detailed but simple to understand a definition for LM79, LM80, and uh, L70 as well. And you can find it quickly if you go to maxlight.com and click on Newsroom, and you will see a technical update for definitions and terms that you should know. A little bit more on that now.